Here we go again. Good afternoon. It is uh, my pleasure to welcome Foreign Minister Lieberman to this. Much the people and the government of Israel appreciate your consistent support of Israel. We value your friendship greatly. We remember the many contributions you have made personally even before you became a United States Senator from New York. We thank you, Your Excellency, for your long-standing commitment to Israel and to strengthening the American-Israeli special relationship and friendship. I think that we've had a good discussion today covering a broad spectrum of regional and global issues. We also covered a wide range of important bilateral topics. Madam Secretary, I thank you for your very kind hospitality today and I look forward to our future friendly dialogue both in Washington and in Jerusalem. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the first question goes to Lafon Karnaka. Yes. Um, uh, issue that uh, uh, you've raised is one that uh, we've expressed our opinion on and in looking at the history of the Bush administration, uh, there were no informal or oral enforceable agreements that has been verified by the official record of the administration and by the personnel in the positions of responsibility. When one looks at Israeli history, there have been uh, prime ministers uh, going back uh, to the beginning of Israelis' uh, statehood that have staked out positions which have changed over time. I per concerned that such engagements might embolden actually Ahmadinejad and his regime. Well, first let me say that um, uh, the the people of Iran uh, deserve the right to have their voices heard and their votes counted. 